Hey guys, so as you can see from the title of this video, it's going to be a little bit different than some of my other videos. Um, but those of you who have been subscribed to my channel new for, you know, the ones that have been a long time subscribers would know that I don't come up with notes unless it's important. Okay, so if you see me looking down, it's because I'm going to need to read something off my notes. Okay, I do have a lot of stuff to say. So anyway. Okay, my first thing, the first thing on the agenda is to tell you my disclosure. I am not a dermatologist and I am not an esthetician. All I did was a few hours of research and I'll link down below all the websites where I got all my information from. But if you need to do some research, then go ahead and do so. And obviously if you have any major skin issues, then go ahead and consult your dermatologist. Um, let's get started. Okay, so what is jojoba seed oil? First of all, it looks like this. It's a yellow liquid. I know it says jojoba oil, but it's not really an oil. It's actually a liquid wax. Um, it comes from the jojoba plant. If I can find a picture, I will insert one. Okay, so this plant natively grows in North America. More specifically, North of Mexico and Southwest US. So Native Americans have been using this for centuries. They used it for treating sores and wounds and stuff like that. But it really didn't become popular until like the 1970s. And what happened in the 1970s was that the Endangered Species Act was passed during the 1970s. Before this, cosmetic companies had been using uh, sperm well oil to put in like um, shampoos, uh, moisturizers, conditioners, and stuff. And because of this Endangered Species Act, they banned import of sperm whale oil. So they had to look for a replacement and they found jojoba seed oil. Since then, it is commercially grown now all over the world. Let me list the countries. Argentina, Australia, Israel, Mexico, Palestine Authority, Peru and of course the US. So let me tell you a little bit of facts about it and benefits. Um, it's chemically and structurally very similar to our own sebum, which is the oil that our body naturally produces. So it's a good thing because it's been said to trick the body into thinking that it, it's oil that it produced. So also it naturally contains iodine. So it's antibacterial, hypoallergenic, anti-inflammatory. It's also rich in vitamin E. Like why is vitamin E important? Okay, I did the research on that too. It's an antioxidant. It protects the skin from ultraviolet rays. It's a natural preservative. It can reduce or prevent sun damage. It can be used topically for psoriasis. It can help the appearance of stretch marks and age spots. That's all about vitamin E and jojoba seed oil is rich in vitamin E. Okay, so the uses of it. You can use this stuff for a lot of things, like a lot of things. Even the bottle, it tells you that you can use it. Um, it's suggested here on the bottle to put some in your favorite conditioner or shampoo or you can put it in body wash, bath gels, and other quality skin products, it says. Hmm. First, you can use it as a um, facial moisturizer or body moisturizer. You can use it to take off your makeup. You can use it as a, a deep hair conditioning treatment. It's supposed to leave your hair like shiny. And yeah, lip conditioner and you can use it as a cuticle oil. There's a lot of other uses, okay? Do your research, like I said. One thing that I can tell you that was weird out of all the uses that I saw online that you could use it for was that they did a study somewhere in the Middle East and they said that because it's so stable, they could use it under like very high temperature and it's still stable. So they compared that with like diesel fuel or something and they said that the jojoba seed oil actually does like has less emissions than diesel which i thought was like that's like way 
out of left field. It's like you can use it on your face and you can use it on your hair and you can use it in your car. Okay, don't put it in your car, okay? I'm just saying, but in the future, you might be able to put it in your car. <laughs> so I just thought that was interesting. Anyways, to my experience with the jojoba seed oil is that I only got it and I only got started into like researching all these oils is because I saw that my skin was changing and more specifically the skin under my eyes. I saw that it was like my lines were getting deeper and I was like, no, no. Um, so I did research and stuff and I found this oil. I bought three other oils and well, actually one of them I already had, but then I bought two other ones. Anyways, point of the story is that I've been using it for like two or three weeks. So it doesn't seem like a long time, but if you think about it, if I've already seen a change in my skin, I've already seen that I can wear this and I'll put it on in the morning and at the end of the day, my skin is not dry and it's not like super oily or anything like that. And it's like, it feels softer and smoother and like even more plump, okay? So it's like, and I can see a difference. You know, and so that's why I wanted to tell you about it because it's very interesting stuff and it's very good stuff. On a side note, I'm not the only one that feels this way, okay? There's a lot of people that like jojoba oil and um, I even sent it to my friend in Atlanta. Her name is Roxy. Hello, Roxy. Um, and she said that she had only used it twice and she saw a difference. Like, that's amazing. Amazing. That twice and you can see a difference like i've used it for what like two or three weeks and i've seen a difference you know and so it's definitely not something that's expensive you know i'm not you know it, this is definitely not expensive i don't like i said i don't remember exactly how much i bought i paid for it but i know there wasn't more than 15 dollars, and that was including shipping so that was good and if you don't if let's say you go to whole foods you don't even have to worry about the shipping you know so anyways I just thought this is information you should know and of course if you have any questions or any comments or you know whatever then um, go ahead and um, write the comment down below and I'll do my best to answer um, if I haven't already and what else oh and if you want to know when the other ones of these are going to come out like when the other parts of these oil videos are going to come out definitely subscribe I mean it's free I guess that's it guys um, so thanks for watching. Bye.